Uh, just wanted to ask about the other night with the fan that ran on the field. Um, any moments of nervousness? Uh, seems like you guys kind of had some fun with it. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, not nervous. I just saw the guy like running, and then I saw the other guy like he's coming like hard, and then I just say, like, what the fuck? And then I tried to do that. <laughs> I just left down, you know. <laughs> yeah. A moment for the bullpen, I guess, out there and your reaction uh, you saw on video? Yeah, yeah. They are they are still laughing right now about that. <laughs> uh, in the middle on the right. Entre los viajes y eh, las actuaciones en Ola y de Wheeler, ¿cómo manejar estos estos espacios de descanso para mantenerte activo en el bullpen? So uh, the question is, you know, between you know, between like this outing, so Nola's outing, and Wheeler's outing, you know, what what do you do to stay active, you know, to stay sharp on the mound? So, sabe, me mantengo tirando lo que es touching feel y eso, especialmente hoy tengo un touching feel, um, y después de juego si no picho quizás tiro otro poquito, sabe, pero la adrenalina aquí en los playoffs es diferente, sabe, uno. Yo siento que tenemos chance de ponernos ready rápido. ¿Sabes? La adrenalina te ayuda a eso. Um, yeah, so um, I try to stay ready as much as I can. You know, for example, today I have a touch and feel, you know, before the game. And sometimes even after the game, if I don't come in the game, I throw a little more, you know, just to stay sharp. And I'll, honestly, the, the best ally that you have is the adrenaline. You know, the adrenaline gets you ready like that. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing how quick you get ready. When you feel that adrenaline, you know, going th um, through your veins. Eh, una más se, se han habla se ha hablado mucho sobre la fanaticada tanto en Filadelfia y ahora aquí en, en Arizona. Eh, tú que jugaste en Dominicana, cómo cómo comparas esa esa diferente tipo de aficiones. Yeah, so how do you compare the the fan base, you know, in Philly here in Arizona, uh, when you compare it to to the fan base in the DR? You know, like it's how the fans get in uh, get into a game and stuff. Um, en realidad no, no, no hay comparación con la fanaticada de Filadelfia, sabe, es algo fuera de lo normal. La, la única, lo único que yo puedo comparar es que allá en Dominicana los estadios son un poco más pequeños, hablan nuestro idioma, tú sabes, cuando uno te la lomita uno puede como escuchar más. Allá yo entiendo que nosotros podemos escuchar más a los fanáticos, sabe, aquí tú escuchas la bulla por una bulla sabe completa por allá tú puedes escuchar varios fanáticos diciéndote tu cosita en español y eso te pega un poquito más. There's really no no comparison with Philly you know with Philly's fans. There, there's nothing like you know there's nothing like it. Um, in the DR, this the stadiums are smaller, so that may give you a chance to hear the fans' comments um, a little better, in special because it's they're in Spanish, you know. Um, but uh, like he, in Philly, you hear just noise, you know, because it's just so, you know, just so many, so many fans, you know. Uh, but in, in the DR, because of the stadiums are smaller, you you're able to hear comments sometimes. Matt, standing up in the back. Gregory, what do you like about how the Phillies coaches are able to prepare each pitcher and maybe give you an idea of how to attack hitters and this season, especially in the playoffs? Um, bueno, en realidad que, sabe, estoy muy agradecido con ellos. En realidad ellos han hecho tremendo trabajo. Los resultados están ahí, sabe. El pitching staff ha estado haciendo un buen trabajo el año entero y gracias a Dios que estos playoffs han estado saliendo los resultados. Yeah, I mean they they've definitely done a great job. You know the whole pitching staff is is doing a great job. You know when you see results, um, there's you know nothing else you can say about it. You know so I'm very thankful to be part of this uh, pitching staff and you know the coaches. Do a great job with us. Jason, back right. Uh, yeah, I wanted to follow up on Matt's question. I, Gregory, in Detroit, you were the closer. Now you're in a bullpen where you could pitch almost any inning, especially when you get to these games. How do they prepare you for when you might pitch? Um, yo solamente, sabe, en realidad, esa, esa experiencia de ser cerrador en Detroit hoy en día me ha ayudado a poder lanzar en cualquier inning, sabe, en cualquier situación. Entonces, yo lo que trato es de estar ready, en realidad, especial, especialmente ahora en los play estar ready en el inning que yo me necesiten, así sea en el quinto o sexto, sabe. Y en realidad, esa experiencia de ese cerrador a esta altura de juego me, me ha ayudado mucho, en verdad. Yeah, um, actually, you know, that, that 
that ex that experience as a closer with the Tigers has helped me, you know, be ready for this moment. You know, like uh, I I try to be ready for any inning they need me, but again, I think it's because of the experience that I got in Detroit that uh, you know that I'm able to do out here. Todd, back left. Gregor, when you're in the home bullpen at Citizens Bank Park, can you hear the fans get on the visiting pitchers when they warm up, and do you guys talk about it? Uh, yeah, yeah, they talk to me a lot to the other guys. I, I know they, they get mad because the fans, you know, they, especially when they are losing, <laughs> when they are losing, they are saying, saying things, you know.